anarchism as a political philosophy is almost jaw-droppingly naive. It's, freedom is a good inclination. Uh, suspicion of state power is a good inclination. The question is, how is that to translate into practical politics? The workers wanted better wages, um, job security, better working conditions, recognition of their union. In other words, everything the workers wanted were ways in which they could advance in American capitalist society. They wanted a, a fairer America. Uh, Emma Goldman and Alexander Berkman wanted a different America, a different world. Chalgaz told the authorities that Emma Goldman had set him on fire when he went to hear her speak. And this immediately led to a condemnation of Goldman throughout the country. Uh, she was actually in danger of her life, and it led to the arrest of any anarchist or any perceived radical police could get their hands on. Goldman's defense of Chalgaz, I think, very much damaged the anarchist movement, um, but it damaged it in the sense of, once again, going back to the central question of, were anarchists for violent overthrow of the government or not? This is the, the trail, the thread that leads constantly through uh, anarchism's debate over, over just what it was and how it intended to bring about its utopia. Only in America could somebody who'd been associated with the death of a beloved president be able to come back and have a career as a public speaker. When Berkman comes out of prison, finally, he's much more oriented toward trying to achieve anarchism through the labor movement, which he sees great possibilities in. Uh, Goldman's uh, orientation is much more for a kind of movement that cuts across class lines, that attracts the middle classes to anarchism.